In today's horse breeding industry, some farms will detect estrus and determine which mares should be bred by routine palpation and ultrasonic evaluation by a veterinarian. However, many farms still will detect estrus by use of a teasing stallion or tease the mares in some way. Many breeding managers still believe that teasing mares is the best method to determine which are coming into heat or going out of heat. Also mares which have experienced early embryonic loss will typically return to estrus within three to four days. Therefore, routinely teasing mares until they are at least 40 days of gestation will also help to detect which mares unexpectedly come back into heat. Depending on the size of operation, number of mares to be teased, housing of the mares, and stallion use, the method of teasing mares varies. If the mares are in a stall, the stallion can be led to the stall. Mares can either be teased through the opening or by opening the door. Much will depend on the mare and how easily the stallion can be controlled. If the mares are out in a lot or small pen, the stallion could be led to the pen and mares teased over the fence. However, some mares may not approach the stallion and the handler cannot tell for certain if the mare is in heat or not. Therefore, if the stallion has good enough manners, the handler may lead the stallion into the pen and approach various mares. Good breeding managers will know which mares should be teasing and can make sure the stallion approaches those so it can be determined if they are coming in or going out of heat. For mares that are in a pasture, one option is to gather the mares into a small enclosure to have them teased. However, handlers may choose to lead the stallion out into the group of mares in a pasture. This requires knowing the stallion and also being very familiar with the mares. Whatever method is used, the handler needs to have an easy way to record what they have found. Large breeding operations will often tag each mare with a number to identify her. One simple method for a handler, especially if they are working alone, to keep track of the mare's status is to have a tape recorder and record the mare and mare number and T-score as they are moving through the mares. Also, they can note any other types of injuries or things that need to be taken care of. After all of the teasing is completed, the information on the recorder is transferred onto the horse's records and a list can be made for what needs to be done. Very highly technical operations could have instruments which will automatically record much of the information from a handheld device and automatically transfer it to computerized records. All in all, many breeding managers still prefer to tease mares with a stallion. If a stallion is not available, geldings sometimes are also effective.